Right, thank you very much, Chuck. You're welcome. Well, the demand for technology education and training is so great that today's colleges and universities just can't keep up. It's estimated, in fact, that there are nearly 200,000 job vacancies in the high-tech field right now. To address this need for additional high-tech education, Cisco Systems, the networking company, has created its own virtual university called the Cisco Networking Academies. These students at the Thurgood Marshall High School in San Francisco are learning about transmission protocols by acting out the movement of messages across a network. This little play is part of a course developed by the school and Cisco Systems. Their goal is to fill an urgent need for skilled computer network designers in both business and education. They get uh, trained uh, staff in the way of students that understand how to design, build, and maintain networks. So they are able to implement these networks in the school environments where in the past they weren't able to. They didn't have the staff uh, available to them or the staff that had the knowledge to do this. The advantages to Cisco is we ultimately are able to supply to the workforce a skilled set of students with the same skills that can then use them in the small uh, businesses, large businesses, Fortune 500 companies. Cisco Systems began the project in 1993 to connect secondary schools and colleges to the internet but found that once engineers finished installing the hardware there was no one left to maintain the networks. The solution was to teach workshops at first. But those workshops were so successful, we taught them in over 30 cities around the country over an 18 month period, that the, the schools in Thurgood Marshall, one of them, actually asked us, is there a way to integrate this and develop a curriculum? Today, the four semester program has expanded to over 50 schools nationwide, and test scores average 83%. Cisco calls it the shop class of the 21st century. But the high school's teachers also see the course as a path to self-confidence. I see the students, um, particularly with the second semester students, I really see them progressing in their knowledge of the technology and just their confidence with problem-solving skills. Like, you know, it's not so much of, oh, Mr. Gosign, this doesn't work. You know, it's, it's like them actually sitting down and, 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 you know, saying, oh, okay, can you just give me that little piece of information and, and I'll take it from here. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Sarah O'Brien.